Thank you, Eric. New at 6, Westport police are raising concerns about a dangerous trend they're seeing at a hotel in town. And they say they've been called there repeatedly for drug overdoses. Iowa to Sue's reporter Steph Machado spoke with Westport police this afternoon. She joins us now live from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom. Westport police say first responders have been called to the same hotel nine times in less than a year for drug overdoses. They contacted us because police want the public to know about their concerns. This is a problem. Westport Police Detective Jeff Majewski says first responders have gone to the Hampton Inn on Old Bedford Road nine times in 11 months for overdose calls. Most recently on Thursday when two people overdosed in a hotel room. Needles all over the room, empty baggies of heroin, suboxone packets in there, some other pills. Majewski says the two men were revived with Narcan and survived. We were told the possibility of fentanyl was in the heroin. Uh, fentanyl, only a few granules can can literally kill or put an adult male into cardiac arrest. So that, that's a problem. That could be on the carpet. That could be on anywhere. He thinks the hotel should be bringing in a professional cleaning service that deals with hazardous cleanups because of the possibility of fentanyl. Management was informed about what had gone on in the room and what should be done to make that room safe. Majewski says he called the Westport Board of Health for help. An agent there was told by the hotel that they had their own employees clean the room and it has been rented to new guests. I wouldn't want my family staying in that room and I'm sure nobody else watching this would want to be staying there either in that particular room. And there's no law or town regulation requiring a professional cleaning service to be called in this situation. Police just feel with this many overdoses happening, the hotel should be taking responsibility for the safety of the rooms. Now, we went to the Hampton Inn to get a response from the hotel. A manager sent us to their corporate vice president who told us he didn't want to comment until he could learn more about the situation. Live in Westport, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.